Hello, my name is Connor Fields. I'm going to talk about Suzanne Langer's Feeling and Form, but this time we're going to talk about the chapter, The Matrix. I'll be focusing on two main elements. That is the sort of temporal nature of music and the fact that it's an current art along with dance, literature, and drama. And I'll be focusing on the, uh, what is it, the form, or rather the musical matrix as the idea. Um, yeah. So Suzanne Langer categorizes music as an art of time rather than an art of space like sculpture or painting or architecture. Um, it's more like drama or literature or um, dance, really. It operates within a virtual constructed sort of time. And she talks about like the, the composer's process. She talks about like the musical matrix. The literal musical matrix is this. It's the harmonic and melodic progression which dictates the rhythm, so we're dealing with something that's very classical, it's not popular music per se, that we're dealing with, which would, we could start with the rhythm, I mean, and could be the other way around, um, or could be more spontaneous even. She talks about and I think the similarities we have with popular music here is um, our folk music or other kinds of music, pure folk, more or less, if we can speak of such a thing, is um, we have um, music as a living organism. She talks about music as a living organism. I believe she also talks about the organization of music, but it's the living organism. She borrows Flaubert's sort of concept of the idea, which is a sort of embryo that becomes a sort of gestalt. And she talks a whole lot about like how different composers perceive music a different way. One composer might have like just like the skeletal structure maybe not even be able to hear it but it's there in the embryos there in his head whereas another composer it might be almost fully realized in his head he can hear it and then they develop it they create this sort of organic structure i think she calls this the organization and she also explores how this has parallels to how life and she doesn't get into really technical biology but like how living organisms actual organisms operate like i wouldn't treat this i wouldn't treat feeling and form here as a biology textbook i treat it as an aesthetics textbook i wouldn't even treat uh philosophy in a new key is a biology textbook it's, that's not how, why it was written i don't think anybody does though so that's good anyway um yeah she has a lot of interesting stuff to say suzanne langer feeling informed connor fields signing off